note to bloggers who change head to toe, paid to wear outfits every hour. Please stop, you are heralding the death of style. Pathetic for these girls when you watch how many times the desperate troll up and down outside shows in hopes of being snapped. It's all pretty embarrassing, even more so when you consider what else is going on in the world. It was pretty hurtful when the, um, the comments came out. Vogue is like the voice of authority in, in our industry and has been for a very long time. Everyone looks up to Vogue to see what they're doing. Everyone loves and respects the aesthetic, the way they communicate. So it's a title that's like a Bible for fashion. What's really, um, I think, demotivating is that it's both women who are writing this for other women. My name is Camille Charrier and I am a fashion blogger. Uh, I'm also many other things, I think. I'm also a writer and a consultant. I do some styling. I'm a very good ice skater. <laughs> so my name is Amra Beganovic. Originally I was doing economics. I'm an economist and Alma is a lawyer. <laughs> So we, we really fell into it by accident. My name is Camila Coutinho. I've been blogging for 10 years already. I'm from Brazil. And the name of my blog is garotasestupidas.com. When I started 10 years ago, there were no fashion bloggers at all. What has happened with a lot of bloggers is that they've really created businesses and they've created business models that didn't exist before. It's pretty ironic actually, because I credit my success to Vogue US. I actually credit it to Sarah Moa who wrote an article about French girls living in London and she used me as the poster child and I woke up one morning to this wonderful, wonderful article and I was like, wow, this is one of the most surreal things that has ever happened to me. Like, I guess when Vogue touches you, you're gold. It was during Paris Fashion Week and I was doing a takeover for Vogue Brazil's Snapchat by the time the article was on and uh, I was very surprised because Vogue is, um, is a title that I get, I get along very well in Brazil in other countries too. Vogue editors, a lot of them at the end of the day, they can kind of stand behind Vogue but to really take a blast at these young entrepreneurs, I think it's like it's not very encouraging and it's certainly like not representative of the U.S. spirit of like building small businesses and building amazing companies through small businesses and entrepreneurship. Since Vogue does want to empower women, or at least, you know, that's, that's the way I've seen the publication, I would think that it would have been nice to, to support each other. The, the problem with the comments is that it did make it did make the editors just sound a little bit bitter and almost out of touch, completely out of touch. And coming from a magazine that features the likes of Gigi Hadid and Kim Kardashian on a more than regular basis, they are almost now the entire focus of the magazine. And without being rude, because I would not want to comment on that, these girls mainly are famous for being famous. They are famous just for being it girls. and. Vogue seems to have embraced that wholeheartedly, so why suddenly the backlash against bloggers? It's, I, I, I don't really know. We partner with bloggers routinely throughout the year, and this can range from uh, gifting them product to a fee structure. The proliferation of digital media and social media has simply changed the landscape. And now we have more voices at the table. So for us to be able to leverage bloggers um, to take advantage of that is, is you know, a very important part of our, our marketing mix. The fact that we change clothes and go to the shows and everything is just one more way that the brand has to communicate with everyone. Like the same way people go and see the shows, people wanna see a real person wearing the clothes of the brand. My prediction is that in the next couple of years, bloggers are going to be much more present in the mainstream media. And I think that uh, it's really refreshing because we are everyday girls. 
let's not narrow it down to to a group of girls who most of them working very hard and pretty savvy cool business women who yeah might not be going down the usual route but are certainly changing things and living with their time. It's really been wonderful so far with social media because there's been a democratization so to speak of style and what is style what the public likes so I think we'll leave it to them to decide and they're the ultimate voters and really not Vogue, not bloggers, not any other, you know, whoever tries to be an authority.